Let's take you back live to those 85th celebrations. Management of SABC together with all other executives that are here. Of course, the two professors, the VCs that are here, both from UJ and Beth, you have acknowledged, the CEOs uh, from other sister organizations under the portfolio. Ladies and gentlemen, I've also seen the acting director general of the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies, and most importantly, all the beautiful, wonderful people who are watching us today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very delighted to be here tonight. Of course, we are celebrating the 85th birthday of the largest public broadcaster on the continent, our very own South African Broadcasting Corporation, the SABC, your SABC. Since the inception on the 1st of August 1936, by an act of parliament, the SABC has served as an archive of this country's journey from a repressive state to a democratic republic. What a journey we have travelled. All the while, the SABC has provided South Africans with primary news and information and constantly strive to reflect the breadth and depth of our diverse nation. Established as an English and African state radio service, the SABC gradually expanded its broadcast to African language stations until the introduction of television in 1976. Since then, it has continued to grow and strive to adapt to the ever-changing broadcasting and social development environment. The SABC is a beacon of light for all of us it steers us along our journey of strengthening our democracy by reflecting the nation's hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Since 1994, SABC has played a key role in promoting democracy and social cohesion in the broadcast of South Africa's first democratic elections. You can remember the memorable times, and they were all there throughout the way. In the same year, the corporation appointed its first ever black chief executive officer, the late Mr. Zula Kesisulu, entrenching the change of SABC from a state-owned entity into an independent public broadcaster. With 19 radio stations, six television channels, and many digital platforms, the SABC provides listeners and viewers access to compelling content anytime and anywhere, and most importantly, in their preferred languages. One of the SABC's most significant highlights was establishing the XKFM radio station in 2000, broadcasting to the Shun and the queer communities of the Northern and the Western Cape. Over and above broadcasting in all 11 official languages, the SABC has provided content in English, in French, in Chinyanja, Portuguese, Shilozi, and Swahili through its own Channel Africa platform and in Hindi and others in its Lotus FM. In response to the fast changing digital environment, and to meet consumer demands for news and information at any time, the corporation launched its 24-hour channel, uh, the news channel on 404, which has become a market leader since its inception in 2013. The news service was further extended to online and digital platforms with the launch of the SABC News app during 2019, around the elections time, to ensure SABC News is available not only 24 hours a day, but everywhere and on multiple platforms. Consumers want news and information when they want it, and at the time they want to access it, and SABC is able to deliver that service. We are all aware that education inequality has been an issue of historical concern in our country, and government has made progress in addressing the underlying challenges. The current pandemic brought the reality of access into question once again. In response, the SABC launched the SABC Education Television Channel last year when everybody was panicking during the emergence of the pandemic. 
and this was done to provide curriculum support to learners amid the devastating effects, effects of the pandemic that restricted movement and attendance. The channel was in line with the corporation's public service mandate of providing broadcast programming on radio and television that informs, educates, and entertains. The fourth industrial revolution has prompted the most dramatic transformation in the broadcasting industry as the move from analog to digital broadcasting accelerates. And of course, Professor Marwali here can tell you of the journey that we have outlined for South Africa in order to ensure that SABC remains relevant and an effective player in the fourth industrial revolution. The SABC continues to embrace the shift towards digital technologies and has made significant strides in ensuring that its technology infrastructure supports the corporation in becoming a competitive multi-channel and multi-platform public content provider, more jobs for content producers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear that today we have so much to celebrate. Over the years, the SABC has reached many milestones that we can all be proud of. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the board, the management team, and all the employees of the SABC, the real owners of SABC, who work tirelessly to ensure that the corporation fulfills its public mandate while driving nation building and social cohesion as they continue to keep us all informed, educated, and entertained. Happy 85th birthday, SABC. Ye birthday, ye no. Thank you, Program Directors. Thank you.